guys, what is up? Ray here and today, it's like a little bit of a special video. We have a little talk. This is something that, you know, I wanted to do for a while. And instead of making it like a very, I guess, stylized video, very professional, I want to have more of like a sit down talk just because this is a very personal collaboration. This is one of my dear friends, brother, family at this point. Yeah, so we're just gonna talk about our collaborative shoot together, Ore and Collegiums on the Destroyer High. This has a little bit of a story behind it. I just want to kind of go over details, such as, you know, how we started this collaboration, kind of getting to know uh, Nick a little bit and Brand Collegium before I kind of just sell it to you guys. Um, so yeah, we have Nick here via FaceTime. Okay, so we're recording now. Thank you, Nick, for being on today's no, video. Obviously, the Brand Collegium is going crazy. Everybody has seen just the growth of the Destroyer kind of now going to the Devastator and, you know, dabbling into derbies, into, you know, different type of footwear, boots, all that stuff, and then even clothes, which is amazing. Quickly, just, you know, if anybody doesn't know about the brand, if do you want to explain what Collegium's about when you started the brand? And I think, uh, absolutely, I know everyone's seen it. Uh, you've heard it a million and one times, uh, especially like when we had calls back in, I don't know, when, when, when were the first probably talking, like 2018, 20, Nah, 2018, because I remember like I started the YouTube channel about like late 2018, early 2019. Yeah, I think we had talked before you even had the channel. Like, really? That was like, I think, or it was like just just started. Like, because I know you had what is it? The pillar, the pillar lows. Is that the pillar low? Yeah. The yeah. yellow ones. Yeah. And then I remember you had. I still have the no. I have the video. If you want to check it on the the YouTube channel, and oh, I was you like, had those in the YouTube channel. Yeah, bro. That's the reason why. <laughs> yo, oh no, bro. Of course. Yeah. Well, I had the pillar quartz, and I remember you was like. Hey, could I send these out to you? Yeah, oh my God, I totally forgot about that shoe. And then I was like, yeah, cool. Like, you know, you seem very cool. The shoe look obviously like an Air Force One. I'm from yeah, freaking yeah. New York City, so I'm like, yo, bet. Anything that looks like an Air Force One, I'm cool. For and sure. then I remember you were like, oh, it's made in Italy, all that. So I was like, okay, bet. Yeah, I remember I was having like this phone call just explaining each other's brand, like what we were doing. For me, I guess this kind of goes into your question. Like a lot of people think we just kind of popped off. But I've been doing it since like 2015 when I was in college. Sold my sneaker collection and then just took a one-way ticket to Italy with my college notebook sketches. Crazy. And I was like, yo, I'm a sneakerhead. I want to make these shoes. Here's the minimum. All right, here's my life savings. And for me, just collecting sneakers growing up, playing basketball out here in California, was always about like having the coolest sneakers. And, you know, collecting, I was always just like, man, you know, I love these styles, and then as I got older, I started buying more like designer brands like Balenciaga and things right, like that. Right, right. And when I was walking, working at Nordstrom, um, I would always ask the end vendors like, yo, like, why is this so expensive? Why are these common projects so expensive? Why are my Balenciaga arenas so expensive? Tell me about the leathers. Tell me about the construction. And then it even went down to like dress shoes, because back in the day, Nordstrom used to make you wear a suit. I guess my affectionate of footwear went from just sneakers and like collecting J's, Yeezys, whatever it may be, the, you know, into collecting all sorts of things, whether it be like boots, which is why we have boots in our collections. I, I have a bunch of boots from when I was working at Nordstrom, uh, penny loafers, to dress shoes. I have a question. Do you feel like yeah. because you being at Nordstrom kind of push the, I guess, the idea of creating a brand just because you've seen all of all of these like high end quality Italian made shoes. Do you feel like being at Nordstrom kind of invigorated the idea of making that brand or like even not being at Nordstrom would not even, you would still have the same trajectory? Yeah, this is actually like a really dope question because I never like reflected in that standpoint where like I've always collected sneakers and it actually, I guess it never really was my own vision for shoes that I think could like other people appreciate because and no knock to any other brand. I think there's great brands that are sold through Nordstrom at that time. But even for me, I was like, yo, like, I'm a particular type of footwear. Right. Affectionado or enthusiast. And like, there's nothing for me. There's not that middle ground. Yeah, even at the time, what was that, 2015, I guess? Yeah, 2015. 2015, sure. it was like, you either are wearing basketball shoes or you're wearing like the super classy kind of formal shoes. There was not like the in-between. Like, I feel like now in 2022, like there's like a nice middle ground. Even though you're like a sneaker enthusiast, you can still get like the higher end quality. It was either before it was like made in China, Nikes, or made in Italy, very pointy, like those ugly formal shoes. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm like, really like the way you're putting it on, like I never even thought about that we're filling that gap because the project's been, been so like head down for me was always like, oh, 
like to answer that question was like, oh, at Nordstrom, I guess in a way, definitely inspired me. Like, yo, there's nothing for me. The guy, like, I don't want to wear Prada, Gucci, or whatever. Shoe. Right, right. It could be that pointy look, you know what I mean? Right. And I was, you know, like, I want something that has that quality and that made in Italy craft, but then also is like a sleeper in terms of design, like in a minimal way. Right. Where it's like, oh, like as a sneakerhead, there's like nods to my sneakerhead roots yeah. of collecting, but I was still in that just a higher end shoe like that actually was like every dollar that you know there was like a good ratio of everything and then i guess now we fast forward now <clears throat> it's been a blessing but we've kind of like walked into the space where we are that weird middle ground our price yeah, absolutely price. i'm sure when you went to the italian factory telling them hey i want to make basketball <laughs> shoes like at the time the idea was just so foreign to them they were like why would you make that no, when you sure. know what i'm saying it's like hey let me use the same leather that i'm gonna use to make like loafers but make it on a basketball shoe yeah yeah, yeah. and there's always been like tips and, tips and tricks because like loafers the, the leather's so traditionally pretty stiff so we've right. always had to like evolve and you've seen in those shoes that you've had in like 2018 like our shoes really weren't that comfortable and i appreciate anyone that's buying them since back yo then. everybody's was like yo them shits is comfortable liar bro <laughs> bunch <laughs> of liars man yeah we're so unconventional and I, that's the beauty of the era today is like you can be so unconventional we don't have to go to like a fashion school like, absolutely have crazy design uh i guess applications and programs to help us it's, so yeah like, you know, like, it's crazy that we both don't have any fashion background at all like any designing background or any no, i have a degree in accounting and uh you know finance that's the thing and, that's the thing even for me it's like computer science like and yeah it's crazy to see like yo we were both i guess at our infancies of the brand when we first met I was infant in the head you know what I mean? but the thing is i remember you I remember you had so many different skews, bro. I was like, yo, like you had this, you had that, you had, you had like what, five or six different like models? Yeah, I had so many different, I don't know, at that time, probably like six silhouettes, honestly, like six silhouettes. Dang. And Dang. none of them were hit. And it was just like, we were just doing our thing. I mean, we were, we were still like a brand, like we were carried at Bloomingdale's right. and a couple stores across the world. But like, it wasn't like it is today in the humblest way. Like we're, you know, like yeah, we're yeah. As such. I feel I, the thing is, I feel like now, yeah. like as of like, let's say 2020, you know exactly what you want the brand to be. You know exactly, yeah. you know, what's your clientele versus before it's like you're trying to grab a clientele from somebody else's, you know, like somebody who would buy common projects. You're trying to get those people on your side yeah. versus For now, sure. you know, versus now it's like, hey, like this is what we do from the outside you can see okay i'm interested in this let me come in yeah exactly so now like i guess like to really just kind of hit that question is like what is collegium how i started 2015 sneakerhead reselling his collection and then flying to italy and starting his own things off of notebook sketches in his crazy book, right? crazy and collegium and ancient rome met secret society of three or more and it could have been anything graveyard grave robbers politicians intellectuals but for me i was like yo like i always like in the sneaker it was always a community so i wanted to create like this secret society of sneaker enthusiasm and then for my vision we always had like a logo like three pillars which is material you know it material craft wearability yeah so like for me the important things when buying sneakers was like yo like is the leather pebbled is the suede buttery yeah you know, those, like, yeah key terms, but, like materials had to be on point and so quality first and foremost you got the made in italy you got the crazy materials and then for me the style is always minimal i always like saw myself as like oh i want sleeper shoes like i would always try to buy shoes purposely like even when collecting was like yo like people don't know what these are they're yeah. very low key it's like if you know you know type thing yeah and that's like the community we've built and for me it's always kind of like i always try to put my mindset like how do i create a rotation of footwear and like okay we got our high tops low tops uh okay you kind of got like your chunky low tops your boots your penny loafers so even today it's still like building that collision rotation or that perfect rotation of footwear there's something for everybody and these are like all daily meters that you can wear close your eyes uh so wait when was the first trip we went to italy together was I that 2019 yeah, maybe 2019 tw or late 2018, like maybe December 2018. Dude, I remember like going into, like, I remember the first, I was like, yo, are you sure you want me to come? Cause like in clothes and making shoes is so different. For sure, for sure. And you know, for me, it was like, yo, like you were telling me like, yo, this leather, like in my head, I was like, shattered backboard. If it feels like this, yeah, we, yeah, we straight, we're straight. 
But then you're like, nah, this has chrome on it. I was like, what are these terms? Well, you bringing me to Italy, it allowed me to kind of learn, you know, when we started making the bootlegs, I was more, you know, cognizant of, okay, this, I like this. This is the kind of leather I want versus I just go and make a random ass shoe. I feel like, you know, no knock to anybody. I feel other brands or, you know, other little companies who make their shoes. And you can kind of notice now that people that don't really know about leather, like leather, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just kind of see like, okay, is this tumbled? This feel good? Boom, run it. I think like that's a super good point that never really gets appreciated, but we do it, uh, both of us do it in a way where it's like, yeah, like product will speak for itself and like, you know, hopefully do a pre people appreciate the little effort. So like you coming to Italy was like really dope because I always like, you know, for me, I was always a fan of your eye and how you put things together. Um, and that's like, you know, how we initially connected. And like a lot of people don't get, and you see it firsthand is like, when you go, like, we're not some brand that's like, yo, like put the swoosh here, or this is my concept. You just put it together. And like, Ray, I don't really like the way this fit, like this hand feel feels of this leather. Yeah. So like, I don't really like these sections of the leather. Like we need to stop using these. And, it was like so intentional like every decision we make in terms of materialization like guys i've seen this firsthand like he's almost gone into arguments about the hand feel <laughs> or how like i'm i'm just sitting back like nah this guy is tripping to me you know to me or to anybody else it wouldn't be a big deal but he's like feeling the stuff and really getting into the nitty-gritty and i was like dude this honestly feels the same to me so him kind of going on a tangent about the hand feel i was like yo this this dude is tripping and you always tell me like bro like no one's gonna like care about it as much as you but like i guess for me yeah right i just i want people to receive the product the way i would want it and i'm like the ocd is exactly the like i feel like you you sleep better at night knowing that you picked exactly what you wanted you know what i'm saying yeah and i think it's for me it's just like i don't know this is like corny but like in the honest business way like if i am gonna talk about it i want to believe it myself exactly you know? yeah no that's so, thousand percent thousand percent i guess i sleep better at night knowing people are getting the quality that i would think is exactly you know, you know and the thing is for your brand to have longevity like you have to be making sure that you put the best quality because the thing is like you can get somebody one time right yeah they get the shoe the quality's ass you got them one time but you know i feel like with collegium and like the community i feel like it's people always are coming back you have a yeah. good a good rate of you know kind of second time third time four time buyers Shout out, by the way, shout out to some dude named Jay Ortega. I, I just, I just wanted to put it. I just wanted to put in a video. Yeah, that, hey, that dude got hell of our shoes, and we have a lot more like him. I think like Chris Yao. Yeah, just I'll yeah my head nah. To, like just dudes that are like really. Of deep. Like, I love it, man. I love it, that, man. Honestly. And it's love, man. It's, it's, it's all love. And obviously, for a brand like this, like you can easily go buy some Nikes, but the fact that you decide to put the extra money into buying, like you know, into Collegium and all the different models. This, yo. Yeah, and I think that goes to what you said. It's like the intention that we do in our product. Like, if we were out here trying to dupe people and get them one time, which I, I'm not trying to say dupe people, but like, that's kind of what it is. Like, you know what I mean? You're yeah, right. Yeah, because like, sometimes you mark. Like, yeah, wow. exactly. Sometimes you market it so beautifully. Like, there's, there's things in the past that I bought and it was marketed and, you know, photographed so beautifully. And then when you get it in hand, it's just like, huh, you know? Yeah. You just literally say, huh. Huh. I don't but, know, but huh. But then for the you know, for for you know for collegium, you know, I'm not I'm not just trying to say this to say this, but like from the first samples that you know we've gotten in hand to like the product that people actually get to have and put on their feet, it's like leaps and bounds better. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean I say that in the humblest way because like, you know, my goal is just like, yo, and I say this in the live, like, I mean both you and I, we're no we're no complete 30 year veterans. That's the uh, thing. On some Kim Jones, like, you know what I mean? Right, Crazy, right, right. Rosy level, like, yo, like, we're both trying to put out the best product that we can put together as small businesses. Exactly, like, exactly. You know, for me and you, when you come to Italy and you, you source things as well, it's like, I think that's already doing. 20 more steps than any brand's doing like yeah at the lowest level some guys are going like let me just throw it out there that's the thing guys, like let me just let someone else handle it right and then for us it's like no nah, what i embody in my products is what i want them to receive so i need to be able to pick it you exactly know? you know sometimes it's like it's you know it's extra steps 
going and feeling the fabric beside you know versus sending somebody to go just get it for you yeah um but you know at the end of the day kind of like i said earlier for you like we sleep better at night knowing that like you know exactly what you're getting you know what i'm saying oh for sure for sure um okay yeah so cool we had a little conversation so i just briefly want to talk about like our collaborative shoe that's coming out it's crazy to see you know first of all i i like that we're able to collab together just because like you know we have this kinship this friendship you know this is something that we're both really passionate about we're sneaker heads we've been into sneakers for a while and you know it's just cool to see that both of our businesses are like thriving at it was almost like at the same time oh it's like when we both started it was like my brand was established but mm, it wasn't that you know i was selling yeah, I, mean, I still have those I, you know i still have those pieces oh dude I, I picture of the shirt the other day oh yo you still be wearing that shirt the, <laughs> Yo, this guy, man, he's been wearing the shirt for like three years deep. I honestly really like that shirt, though. You know, we both kind of came up at the exact same time. I feel like you were telling me like, yo, we just dropped this shoe. And then after I was dropping the shoe, and it was like, it was kind of like, it was cool to kind of see both of us rise at the same time. And I feel like instead of us collaborating so early on, I feel like now is like the perfect time where we kind of know what our brands are about. I was like, for me, I almost like the way, even like the approach of this call, like, I almost like love it so much because it's not it's a collaboration yes one but for me on a personal level it's a celebration of our like friendship literally like, i was i was thinking about it. i was like yo dude this is like it's almost like we've done this together for so long and we never kind of acknowledged it yeah yeah because yeah. we're like so focused on our own stuff we're like okay we're just kind of going and i yeah, feel like just crushing through. and i feel like this shoe was like it was almost like a damn like look what we've come up with look at both of our trajectories with brands that we both have and it's like okay this is finally almost like a celebrative piece that we're kind of doing together i think this like shoe itself was like done over the last three years like every trip yeah know, like, it just got better a component of like Yo, yeah like, that's dope. cool let's put that on the book for like when when and if we decide to do something together right fun. yeah we were always talking about the collaboration but i feel like this shoe though like we've this was done a while back it's just like we never made the sample no, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, but it got better every time we went to Italy. Like, yeah. okay, cool. We found the leather. Okay, cool. Damn, this textile is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. And then like all the little ones, oh crap, this new buck is the right hue. We gotta get this new buck right. in the buttery feel. And then even down to the insoles where I was like, yo, like Ray, we just got a new technology technological printer for our insoles and we can print my office and your office. Right. Office. It's it's <laughs> dude, right, right. Nah, it was like perfect timing. It's like we were just waiting on those damn machines to, to, to come in, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's I, it. I mean, it was definitely ill-planned, but like, I think that's like the, the beauty of the patience was like, yo, like the project got better every single time as we kind of waited along. And as we Absolutely. Kind of what I can add to, you know, just begin this video, well, this part of it is yeah. that we originally had, so I was talking to Nick about it. So this was originally, I guess the shoe that we wanted to drop down the line was kind of like a military kind of, it's almost the same material. Uh, same color, all that with, you know, the Empire City details. Um, but down the line, you know, I just kind of decided to shelve this idea. And because me and Nick were kind of talking about a collaboration, I was like, you know what? Let's make it on a better quality shoe. You know what I'm saying? N not that this is not good quality, but it's like, I'd be so proud to be like, yo, a made in Italy sneaker. Cause we don't obviously produce sneakers in Italy. so. I'd rather take that idea and put it into like a actual made in Italy product. So this is the shoe right here. Yeah, I mean, I think breaking it down <clears throat> to the like anatomy of this shoe and like how we, how our products kind of like speak to our consumers and the materialization. Um, you know, a lot of people have seen our most popular silhouettes, which is a short high. Everything is made in Italy. And I mean that to the construction, the handmade, to the materialization. So this pebbled natural grain calf skin in this eggshell finish, kind of that vintage white, yep. this natural rubber sole, literally like poured rubber from trees into this outsole, not like the TPR that's in your normal athletic brands, to an Italian cotton canvas um, that has this kind of like tweeting effect. Or that's, like I, effect I love the texture of it. Like versus, you know, the one that I have here, like the Ore sample. <laughs> It's so different. You can kind of see like the. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely noticeable. Like the, mitts, 
not really there on this and then this too like you can see the knitted yeah and even in this ipad camera you can see the knitted yeah uh, wave. the woven fact just beautiful weaving fabric even the way this is frayed as it got stitched onto the shoe is like my favorite part and it's only gonna get crazier i can't wait to see if like people try to dye the uh bleach the texture to frame even further paint splatter i don't know it's oh yeah nah and even for me like i feel like my, my well the sample pair that i've been wearing is b and even like the fraying is so you know extra but yeah. it's like the charm of the shoe because for me like with ore it's more of like we're very inspired by like military and i don't want to say the word dirty because like people's like yo is your brand like considered like a dirty like you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah but I just love the beauty of like things that look used and kind of like beat up. So, ah, the usage factor. Of it yeah. Is, like, the most beautiful thing. So for this project, I asked Nick. I was like, "Yo, are we able to kind of keep the edges frayed, just to kind of give it that look?" And yeah, surprisingly, you know, it was very, you know, it was achieved here beautifully. Um, it's not frayed to the point where like it looks nasty. It's just like that perfect amount of like kind of distress. Yeah, it's just kind of like that. To me, it's like a little Easter egg. Like, wow, I can't believe they went so far to the details of fraying the edges on each of like the kind of. It's crazy. Edges. It's Dude. crazy, and it's a lot of work. Like, obviously, like when they're making the shoes, like to get this effect on every little panel on it, it's nah, a lot exactly. of work. It's not easy. Um, and I just kind of want to go down further, breaking down the shoe, just because you know me, I'm so like technical with the shoe. Yo, go um, ahead, bro. The outsole, full leather lining. It's uh, full leather lining, and this is really like I'm feeling it right now, and it's crazy soft lining. So yes. this, this is actually really good for the lining. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, our comfort is one of the things that people brag about. Yep. Is that, you know, for me, a mission in creating like Italian shoes, we have a super flexible fabric line lasting board. On top of it, there's an insole, but on top of that, there's a whole other insole that we did this like crazy. What's dope about these insoles? This is the first time we're doing like a full print bleed insole. It's beautiful. Um, so it's got this polyurethane insole that doesn't fly in. Like, you know, your pair of bands or like chucks will fly in over time. Yeah. It's got this polyurethane insole. And I think the cool creative thing, like me and Ray kind of came out with like, yo, let's, you know, I want this shoe to be designed to every aspect. This is out here in LA. So you'll kind of get this East Coast, West Coast vibe inside the shoe obviously you won't see it from the outside but you unbox the shoe and right see it. right it's it's just cool to see and it's like once again it's a continuation of come details from this shoe that i wanted to add into this so it's like more of a collaboration versus just like let's just make a colorway and then call it a day you know what i'm saying like yeah no no no, no. we definitely don't we want to do yeah that. we tried to you know add some details from like brand like it was a model from his brand and i wanted to take some aspects and details from my brand and it's just like a perfect collaboration. In my opinion, like, I wouldn't have done it otherwise for this specific model. I feel like it's perfect. This definitely screams Ore and Collegium. And it's more of a celebration of just that's our the, That's so the thing. We hope, we hope our audience is kind of just like, yo, like, if you rocked with both me and Ray, like, yes, it's a collab and it's going to be limited at one, you know, at this time. Yeah. But, like, at the same time, like, you know, I think both of our communities are so driven by, like, the people that really support us so like yeah the journey itself is like yo this is a journey that you guys have witnessed through whether it be youtube instagram whatever it's crazy so, it's crazy to think like yo this this is like what three years three years in the making yeah three years of our brand just kind of like do i mean we we've talked about this so many times offline where it's like yo like it's become something that we've never even dreamed of like we yo were both, like if we were to rewind to 2018 both yo. of us were just happy doing I was like, yo, I guess I'll probably like five pairs this month. You were like, yeah, I'll probably get like two jack, two hoodies and a couple of shorts. I remember, yeah, I, I remember exactly. We were like in the hotel, just kind of talking about it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm dropping these hoodies when I get back. And like, you were like, yo, we're working I on this. this. You know I mean? And I remember the this model was like being created at the time. It was like, I think you had already like a template of it. Yeah. But there was kind of like some little details I needed like some ironing out to do. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, we've had like the concept since like 2015 got stuck in that pillar low that you yeah. that you had. Yeah. And it's just been a constant revision. Uh, suppliers not having this soul ready. And then, as you know, like when COVID hit, and I was just like, fuck it, full send with what we have. Right. And run for swing for the fences, basically. And it's it all crazy. just kind of like worked out together. Um, but yeah, just to kind of go back and just like, Again, this is a celebration of, I think, both of our growth, our friendship. Yep. And, like, amazing to see, like, 
again we were just content selling like three things per month same same yeah i was i was i was happy with like you know yeah there's some a couple of hoodies here people are just rocking it whatever but like the fact that we have so many different colorways and different skews and different items and different models it just like it's it just shows you that like we've ca we've come a long way bro we went from fucking these two excuse my language these two cities and both of our products are sold around the world Crazy. like not even on just like uh individual customer basis but like you know really digest that like yo like you were just telling me some homies in japan with stores are going to be carrying yeah yeah we got both of that same, you know, I got people in Hong Kong, London, legit stores. It's crazy. It's, it's, I rock with our stuff. It's crazy. So. so, you know, once again, I just really want to do this video just, you know, just to talk to Nick. This is something that, you know, we've been kind of brewing for a while now. And like, it's just once again, our, a celebration of our friendship, of us just kind of coming up together. And um, I feel like this is like the perfect shoe that just kind of encapsulates everything um yeah i think we're done bro like there's nothing much to say i don't want to kind of regurgitate information yeah it'll just be like i yeah i feel like people kind of know the brand uh once again shout out to collegium they're doing amazing so much new stuff that you know obviously we can't talk about nick will talk oh my about. gosh even the photo i sent you like two days i ago, know like, bro like i have no clue if that's gonna be fire in person or not but we'll see what and then the and the thing is like the devastators to me are like the newest they just came out right yeah, 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 we're on the second capsule with them. We just finished the second capsule. It's, thank God, flew flew out the door. Yeah. And so blessed to keep kind of doing that same trajectory. Yeah, so, you know, the momentum is just, the momentum is there. It's it's, it's going. Uh, when it comes for us, for O-Ray, just because, you know, we started doing bootlegs, yeah, yeah. I feel like I didn't want to be known for this shoe. It's like, it's easy to just kind of keep going. It works, the formula works, and just kind of keep it going. But I, I wanted to be known for something actual original, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so now, yeah, we're kind of working on, you know, boots, different kind of shoes, original footwear and all that. Uh, Wait, which are is... we still recording right now? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah. Say, oh, can we talk about some stuff that isn't real? Oh, no, 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 no. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep it on the DL, I but. I wanna drop no gems. Yeah. Uh, no, that's in the world that they may not know about yet. Yeah, bro, the Collegium Gucci collab, we can't talk about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, really, truly, um, Obviously, first of all, thank you guys for supporting both brands. Uh, uh, absolutely. You yeah. know, we wouldn't have been we wouldn't have been here without you guys. And uh, Collegium page, the community is strong. I love like just everybody communicating together. You guys have a Discord chat group and stuff like that. Yeah, um, Discord's crazy. I can't even keep up with yeah, it. Yeah, so that's dope. And you know, even for me, for the brand, the growth has been amazing. I'm just happy. Just honestly, just gratitude for everything. Ray and I made enough units for both of our communities to thrive. Yeah. And it'll really be for the people that are in our communities um, that will be able to get a pair. And I, I think there's plenty enough for like the communities that really rock with us. We'll right. Have, we'll have of them. We did send Donovan Mitchell a pair for All Star. So if he wears it, whoever's a 47, sorry, Donovan's got him. Uh, Donovan, shout out Donovan if you do rock him. Uh, hopefully it works with a fit. That'll be all. Yes. So March 5th, uh, 10 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. EST. Yes. Again, March 5th. On. All on the Collegium website, just because you know everything logistically wise is on his side. Rolling out the campaign, just give you guys you know better looks at the shoes and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I have I have some in hand videos and stuff that we yeah. do on YouTube. We'll do like an HDR in here. Right, yeah. and also on uh, this video when this interview part is ending, I'll do like an official unboxing, so you guys can kind of see what everything looks like. Yeah, besides that, you know, once again, thank you, Nick, for being on the channel. Really appreciate you proud of you bro couldn't be proud i'm proud of us um but yeah just on my side bro i'm really proud of you you know the brand has been going crazy and goes up from here i i don't see the momentum stopping anytime soon look at all the damn shoes in the back like y'all have momentum you know what i'm saying i mean we got a lot of things lined up we don't know if the momentum is gonna stay with us but we're gonna do everything we can to just keep putting on the you know keep putting in the work for the you know the biggest motivation for us and kind of like the closing statement is like even for like you like all the effort that you've put just kind of like helping me along the way you know we have so many people that have believed in the brand and like for me and my team's biggest motivation is like yo like it's not about just blowing up it's about like not letting people down that believed in the project like Absolutely. that's like the biggest that's the biggest thing that keeps me up at night it's like yo there's so many people like you said j10 storm 
all those guys like 24 pairs they, they believe we're the brand that like is next up yeah right got, right to, to be that brand you know what I mean? you know it's cool to see that people like us you know immigrants like you know yeah, yeah. we're actually creating things versus like the bigger the bigger brands you know people have the choice decide to spend their money with us so it's yeah. it's incredible um obviously footwear is a whole different game so that's once again something really really crazy amazing video 10 out of 10 sneaker for you guys yeah guys we're out of here i'm gonna put nick's personal page as well as the collegian brand page on. No, my personal page is trash you know that bro nah but if you guys want to see some bmws and some cool stuff i'll put his page you guys want to talk to him or whatever feel free i'll put the collegian page as well and uh, you know ore as well and all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching this was a really cool video once again shout out to nick i don't know how long this video is it's about 35 minutes so we're gonna have to snip 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 hey, the video you're gonna have to cut that out you're, you're gonna, gonna have to cut that out all right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, now it will be the unboxing part of the video. Peace. Peace.